music. How did I feel about it? <laughs> feel pretty good. I've been at Joe B for six years and just untold hours have been spent with some of the smartest people I've ever met in my life talking about what could possibly go wrong. In a lot of cases, because the airplane's so different, they're problems that general aviation hasn't encountered and maybe no one's encountered. All of these problems are fielded, solutions are found, and we move forward. The whole concept of the airplane from the beginning has been not just a safe airplane, but an, an airplane with layers of resilience. So no matter what gets thrown at it, it's gonna bring the pilot and the passengers home safe. That means that a lot of redundancy gets built into the architecture of the plane. What we're testing here is the most significant level failures that include features that we can't model in a lab. The big milestone that we're building up towards is the inhabited transition flight from vertical takeoff to a wingborne flight to a landing. The most visually obvious failure case we have is the one engine inoperative or dual channel propulsion failure where we intentionally shut down one station on the aircraft. The flight controller is amazing. It automatically reallocates control amongst the remaining effectors. So we can lose a wingtip and we have to throttle back the other wingtip or we can lose one of the tail stations or an inboard and then we have to throttle back the diagonal to keep the airplane balanced. The tilt system is actually two actuators that work in parallel. We are gonna turn one side off and forcing the other half of the tilt actuator to take the entire burden. And make sure that the remaining side can perform a safe recovery to land. We have four batteries on the aircraft. We wanna make sure that if we lose one pack for some unforeseen reason, the remaining three packs are sufficient to handle the current that's required to continue safe flight. And we still maintain six spinning stations. Success is, it's super boring. The tests that went to landing, the motor out, the tilt out, and the battery out to landing, and they're just completely non-events. No change in the pilot procedure. The pilot just comes in and lands, handles the exact same way it does when everything's nominal, just as clean and tight as it could possibly be. And it's like, I, I feel like it just validates a lot of that work. And aside from making sure that we keep ourselves and our friends safe, making sure that none of that time was wasted is an incredibly special feeling.